G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back again for another weekly free instant tournament. Let's jump into the gauntlet, see how we go. I'll show you how to get in. So uh, you log into BBO, uh, up to Solitaire Bridge, and then down to weekly free instant tournament. Let's see what today throws at us. Ooh, all right. Good hand. I always love eight card suits. And we've got... a. Uh, 11 cards and two suits. Uh, so here we've got 12 high card points. A um, couple of things we can consider. We could just consider like opening th five diamonds. Uh, if you didn't want to do that, you could consider four diamonds. Like they, they both sort of overlap. <laughs> you can see that the description is near identical. Um, we could consider opening uh, one diamond with the intention of like rebidding two diamonds or four diamonds or five diamonds. Um, some people might play gambling three no trumps. The robots don't do that, but like just saying, hey, I've got a solid seven card uh, suit. Do we have enough stuff outside of it? Um, here, I think uh, just preempting four diamonds or five diamonds is like the way to go here. Um, I have very little defense on this hand um, and the opponents could easily make four spades. Uh, ma us making five diamonds is probably like a little bit of a stretch, uh, but if I bid four diamonds and the opponents bid four spades or even four hearts, I probably would want to be in five diamonds anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that. Hey, David and Steve, thanks for coming in. All right. Uh, so here, hit partner with an interesting hand. So. Uh, like I obviously have a zero play for making five diamonds um, and all of their points are completely useless. Like King, Queen, Jack of Clubs, not useful at all. I'm really happy to see that they've got three diamonds and I'm really happy to see that they've got a shortage in spades. Uh, that to me <laughs> like means that the opponents are near guaranteed to be making uh, four spades. We've got like one diamond trick, no spades, no hearts two clubs, right? So in principle, five diamonds should be a good spot. The query I've got is four diamonds might have done enough on this hand. So yeah, uh, as it is, I'm just going to lose these five tricks. Uh, this, like, I can't see me getting up to the club and taking a club and discarding something before they do. So uh, we'll just let them have those tricks. I'll see if they misdefend. They might try and give their partner a rough or something. Hey, CB Luke, thanks for coming in. Well, this is promising. So, uh, hey, chess player. All right, do they find the heart? They might try another spade. They do. Wow. Okay. So here, I just want to use that jack of diamonds as an entry to throw that away. But I got the rest of the tricks. So down to seventy-one percent. So uh, lots of people did the same. Um, so if you bid one diamond, they get in there. If you open four diamonds, they overcall. Um, I was kind of like, my fear here is if I open one diamond, I thought that would get doubled a lot like this. Uh, if you bid five diamonds immediately, you do get doubled a lot as well. But uh, yeah. Giving them time to bid and support each other, I thought the higher chance of getting doubled there. All right, uh, 19 points, balanced hands, so. I want to just open a diamond and uh, rebid. No, no, no rebid. Just open a diamond. There we are. Okay. All right. Jack of diamonds lead. Okay. Not really what I was expecting. And the points are evenly split between the hands. Uh, we got a heart fit. Ace is a past hand. We don't have many diamonds, so. Whenever trumps are an issue, working on a side suit early is pretty decent. So I could either just like play on hearts here, hoping to set them up and get there. Or I could just try and build tricks and clubs, play like a club towards the 10 and then king of clubs, jack of clubs, etc. Uh, that could work as well. Um, hearts, I think it's unlikely that I set up hearts and can get up there as well. Uh, one of the benefits of hearts is maybe the opponents play on clubs, but I just don't see uh, the benefit there. So I'm just gonna let them have some clubs. 
That is great news. Club to the 10 held. Uh, and there's the nine. Wow. Okay. So they have to keep drawing trumps because um, otherwise I could take a roughing finesse. So I could have led the king of clubs and the aces over there. All right. Uh, so West has five diamonds. Well, we still want to build this uh, club trick. So my eight of clubs is now high. And they've still, they've got more diamonds than me, which is awkward. Um, it's difficult to know what to actually discard it. Um, both could like, it's unlikely either would cost, uh, but I think maybe holding 10 nine hearts is relevant in case the jack falls. Then I have to discard as well. Um, all right. Get that, get the ace of spades, and we're down one. 71%, that, yeah. So it felt like more people would get more awkwardly placed there. Um, some people got to three hearts. So some people opened two no trumps, which is too much. Some people opened one no trump, which is too little. Um, some people opened a club, which is completely fine. That's just like a style sort of thing uh, about what to do. And then over a diamond pass a spade, they bid a no trump, 18, 19, which is great. And then two hearts and, and the opponents get to two spades and they double it from their partner, which I don't actually mind, but uh, you need to lead a club or the ace of spades to beat it. Whew. Someone managed to make with an over trick. What did they do? I went after hearts. The heart set up. They can't get there though. Ace of clubs. <laughs> they give you a, they, okay. So that player had to lead stuff for you. So, it was a far-fetched uh, idea that I was worried that might happen, but it, it came good. Yeah. Another 18 balanced. So 4-4 four, four in the minors. Again, we'll open one diamond. So here, my plan to actually rebid something came to fruition here. This here, three clubs, says nothing about clubs. It just says, hey, partner, tell me more about uh, hearts and spades. And the most amount of hearts we can have is actually three. So uh, if I had four hearts, I would have supported it straight away. So here we can tell them, hey, I've got three hearts and we can get to four hearts. Okay, ace of diamonds lead. All right, so we've got one diamond. Running with scissors is raiding with a party of one. Hey, PM Gola, thanks for coming in. Thanks, scissors. Uh... Hi, Cheryl. Um, right. Uh, so the two spades I have to work out how I want to deal with them. Um, I could trump them. I could maybe dump them on diamonds. I could maybe finesse them. We had no bidding, but that ace of diamonds is pretty unusual. Singleton, doubleton ace. Hey, V8. Um, well, I don't want to finesse straight up, so... I missed board one. How did you open it? I just opened five diamonds straight away and bought it there, which worked out well. Well, well enough. <laughs> I went two down, but you know. Um, all right, so I could go like king of spades, spade to the ace rough, but I just want them to take the ace of hearts straight up. Oh, there's the seven. So my six is high. All right. Okay. 
Oh, all right. So now I can just discard uh, one spade on the queen of clubs. So um, as long as these two spades stand up, um, yeah. So I got the rest now, my jack's high as well. So why did I preempt five? Uh, so basically, um, when looking at this, it, it's sort of like a really interesting problem about what you actually want to open. So where do we want to play on this hand and why? So my thoughts for this board were, um, the opponents could easily have four spades on. Ah, so you open four diamonds thinking best hand they won't come in. Yeah, like I think four diamonds is a completely fine choice. I thought it was pretty close between four diamonds and five diamonds. Uh, here, I didn't think five diamonds was necessarily like I was going to make it. Uh, my thoughts were that if I bid four diamonds and the opponents do come in, I'll really want to have bid five diamonds. And that's not to say that I can't bid it the next time, but it's just that you're much more likely to get doubled. So, here, I just felt like there's a lot of distribution and they'll have a decent hand. There's a relative chance that you'd expect them to come in. Um, but I did think four diamonds was a completely fine, reasonable choice. Um, definitely could be. Um, I think four diamonds or five diamond opening are better than one diamond opening. I, I didn't see like what upshot you're really going to get from a one diamond opening. Uh, you're definitely going to let them in if you open one diamond. Um, I don't see you playing three no trumps. I don't see us bidding one diamond, two diamond, three diamonds, etc. Um, and if you go that process, usually I'd expect to be doubled if you opened one diamond. So to me, four diamonds and five diamonds were both really good opening choices. Um, yeah. But I chose five. <laughs> you have to make a decision at some point. Um, three passes to me, so... Uh, one no trap. King of diamonds, right. Well, I got two hearts, I got a spade, and I got a diamond trick. I can build a couple clubs. I can double finesse spades. I can finesse the hearts. And I can also make my tenor diamonds a winner. So let's just take that straight up. No need to hold up. Um, you only do hold up plays if you're trying to cut communication. Here what I want extra winners. Um, I am not worried about the opponents playing on diamonds, so no need to do that. And whew, the eight of diamonds just dropped. This seven of diamonds could come good. So uh, be a card alert. Uh, so we'll just do that. All right, uh, and there's the eight of spades as well. So is that a singleton? Okay, so uh, my jack seven of spades are all good. And okay, what's the best way forward from here? I've got two diamonds and a club to lose. I could do, I'm, I'm pretty much gonna lose my two diamonds and a club. Uh, so let's just lead a diamond and I'll unblock the 10 later. Okay, diamonds are three, two. Let's get rid of that and let's get rid of that. Okay, here comes the beer card. It's beautiful. Uh, let's take a finesse. We don't need it. Just a nice little practice finesse. <sighs> don't duck again. Okay. <laughs> I was like, are they really going to like prevent me winning the beer card by... Uh, <laughs> ducking the ace of clubs because they can know that it's uh there but 71 percent with the beer card fabulous and again uh for any people that don't know what the beer card is little side game that you can play with your partner that if you can win the final trick with the seven of diamonds when it's not trumps they owe you a beer card so that's what i was talking about but uh tracking at 74 it's going well uh, moving on to board number five. Uh, what do we got? Flat 12 count. So pass, pass to me. Uh, we're going to open a club. <laughs> David said, congrats. I forgot about the beer card again. <laughs> Easy to do, but very, very important for bridge. So you need to make sure you capitalize on them. 
Um, here, double was just a support double showing three spades, didn't show anything extra. Partner's got um, spade fit. It's, we're, we're not going any further. Okay, uh, let's have a review of this option and see what we know. All right, so East is a passed hand, so they don't have 12 points. They were happy to overcall two diamonds and West raise. So they got a nine card diamond fit. It could be six, three or five, four. Uh, points wise, we got 10 opposite 12. So the opponents have 18. So it's like nine and nine, 11 and seven. Now East led the heart, which is our suit. That could very well be a singleton. I don't imagine it's uh, ace king doubleton or like ace king of hearts because that just gives them like hardly any points in diamonds and why did they overcall two diamonds if that's the case um now importantly they don't know that this hand actually has hearts they can't see this north hand uh also we have a diamond loser so we've got let's count our loser we've got um, at least one spade loser, we may be more if there's a bad break. The ace king of hearts, maybe more if we get trumped. Nothing in clubs and the ten of diamonds. Uh, I want to get that rid of that on a club. Um, now importantly, I don't want to ever throw the queen of hearts here. Because uh, if I throw the queen of hearts, this west player will know that that was a shortage. All right. So king of diamonds there, east should have the queen. Uh, so I want to get rid of my diamond as soon as possible. It might open myself up to a cross off, but it's a risk I'm going to take. Okay. And we'll start drawing trumps. Okay, ace of spades, queen of diamonds, and the king of hearts. Uh, so... And trumps break, so I can draw trumps and then knock out the ace of hearts and actually make 10 tricks. So this hand was extraordinarily friendly. Now it's 71%. Uh, so no one bid game. Um, so no one was crazy enough to do that. But uh, what people did do... So it looks like they missed the support double and then they played in three hearts. Now, three hearts is a fine spot to play in. Um, and I think passing three hearts is fine. Usually you want the four, four fit, uh, but here the bad break in hearts and not in spades that uh, killed that. So kind of fortunate there. So we are currently tracking at 73%. Moving on to board number six, eight, 12, flat 13 count, four, four in the minus. We're getting a lot of those. Uh, two hearts for my partner is just like five card heart suit and forcing. Now it's kind of weird that it's best hand, but I should probably give four hearts a go. We've got a fit. I don't see what else would, would try. Okay. And 12 opposite 13. They have a 10 card spade fit. Wow. All right. Um, and West over cold East jumped so spades are either five five or four four queen of spades marks west with the ace king so points wise what do i got uh we've got 25 so there's 15 points missing they over cold so it's like eight and seven nine and six ten and five are they going to get down to five points? Maybe. But anyway, seven points in spades in the West there. That's like a bulk, the bulk of their points. Um, so we get that rough. Uh, I need to work out who's got the queen of diamonds. So we've got a two way guess in diamonds and the beer card. Um, now I want to finesse. Uh, I want to finesse the hearts for sure. Um, I'll leave the nine here just so I can stay in this hand if it works. And again, now my jack for the 10 falls there. Okay. So hearts are three, two West has 10 points. I really don't think that East only has three. 
Um, so we can draw those. I can only afford one discard on the club, so I do need to guess the diamonds. And uh, let's play east for them. Beautiful. So here we unblock the nine. Two beer cards. This, is, this tournament's going well. Over to the jack. And 12 tricks. <laughs> Only 53% there. But uh, I thought that one would be decent. I wouldn't think everyone would guess the... Uh, I think more, like, to me, more people would not guess the... Um, Diamonds than that. Like you can finesse other ways, but yeah. Other people doubled them in three spades. So if you pass, your partner doubles them <laughs> and you pass that again. That is a big brave call, which I was not going to do, but uh, boy, does that work well. Um, yeah. Whew, check this one out. This is a monster. Uh, what do we got? 23 high card points in a 5-5 five, five shape. So I'm going to open two clubs, bid two hearts, bid three clubs, that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's annoying. Partner has not filled me with enthusiasm, so... Uh, I can see why partner didn't fill me with enthusiasm. Okay, so what do we got? We've got two club losers and they might get a club rough. We're missing the king of spades. Uh, so uh, it looks like they're leading from shortage. I want to keep an eye out for if they... Uh, nine of club, eight of clubs. Beautiful. Check this out for potential entries. All right, queen, jack, 10, nine. There's the eight, there's the seven. So let's unblock this nine. Now, obviously they might just get roughs or something. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, here I was just hoping to be able to use my like low club over to the seven as a entry to uh, finesse the spade. But they just give it away. I was so happy with myself about that entry there. Uh, hearts break terribly. Anyway, we'll draw um, all but one, just play a club, and uh, we win the Ace of Diamonds, and then we're just going to go back to clubs. They'll get their uh, top trump at some stage. There they go. And we got the rest. Another 71%. What are other people doing on that hand? Most people are making it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, like these results have been pretty friendly. I'm currently tracking at 70%. Stoked about that. Um, moving on to the final board. What do we got? Diamond pass a heart. 10, 17. Uh, you could bid two clubs. You could double. One no trump would be a bit weird. We don't have diamond stopper, so doubles just stand out for me. So we'll do that. Two clubs from partner, great. Uh, I'm not going to get too excited, but definitely happy to uh, compete to three clubs. Really? Really? Diamond, a heart, a spade, two clubs, two hearts, three hearts. I double them. I don't have great defense. I'd need the king, the ace of hearts to be in the east hand, which they probably do. I might have one club trick. I really don't have much more than that. Uh, the ace of spades is good, but I doubt I have more than that. Hmm. I think doubling's okay. I think they're probably going to make decent amount of time i think they're going down a decent amount of time as well um here i think doubling's okay because i'm not sure everyone's getting to four hearts uh but here 
I think that's too many issues where it might not work. Like someone could have a void club and it's terrible. Or like the ace of hearts could be in the West hand and it's terrible. I think I'm going to pass, but doubles like a completely valid. What? What? <laughs> Now's the time for cube bidding. I was just checking if that was natural, but okay. Okay, maybe doubling stops my partner bidding. What? <laughs> okay, all right. Um, you couldn't pay me enough money to want to try and bid again with this North Hand. Um, what does Q bid mean? Uh, usually it's a slam try, uh, showing like a really good hand. Um, it can either mean like, Hey, I've got good support for your suit, but they've already shown this. They volunteered two clubs and they didn't need to. And then they've said, Hey, I've got a really good hand for you. Uh, often that you'd also use it to show like I've got first or second round control for spades, like ace or king of spades. Partner just like literally doesn't have any of their bid. Other than they have seven points, seven high card points and a doubleton. So seven plus high card points. They got that eight to 11 total points. Like they're a stretch at best, but yeah. All right. Um, Robert has four spades. Yeah, but uh, the issue is this doesn't say anything about spades. That says four plus clubs. Um, all right. So we know diamonds are like five, five diamonds, four spades, probably only two hearts because uh, they didn't make a support redouble. Uh, so I think East has seven hearts. Um, so like five, four, two, two, six, four, Four, something like that. At any rate, uh, we've got a couple of heart losers. The diamonds look promising to try and set up. I need, I also have the ten of spades as a late entry. We're just going to draw trumps and then work on diamonds. There's one club there. Okay, so clubs are there like a five, four, three, one, but I don't think they've got three hearts. So six diamonds is my guess. All right. Uh, does this player have like the queen of diamonds, singleton queen of diamonds? Like, they very well might. Uh, all right, so West doubled me. East led a singleton jack of spades. They had four clubs and seven hearts. I've got one diamond. I'm thinking. West would probably duck it even if they had the ace queen. Um. Feeling like diamond, putting the king of diamonds up is like if East had a singleton ace of diamonds, they would have led it. If they had a singleton small diamond, they would have led it. So to me, I feel like East has the singleton queen. Let's go for it. No. All right. Uh, so at this stage, I just want to knock out the spade. I shouldn't have done that. Now I can't have a lead a heart towards my hand. That was silly. They did have a singleton small diamond. So I wonder why they chose singleton jack rather than uh, the other one. So misplayed this one. I, I wanted to be able to lead a heart towards my king. That was the main issue here. 14%. If I got out for down one, I wonder if that would have been any good anyway. Are the opponents making four hearts? Um, 
Probably not. Definitely not. Very much no. Uh, like they lose a club, a spade, a heart off the top. Uh, but they have to do so much work with everything and the layout's just terrible for them. So if you doubled them, you're going to get a good score. So if I got out for down one, that would have been much better. I'm also surprised that they led their singleton jack than their singleton diamond in their partner's first bid suit rather than their second bid suit. All right, they're both okay, but singleton queen I thought was a real fear. That being said, high card points, I should have counted them a bit more. Um, uh, but at this stage, I know they've got the ace queen of diamonds. I know they've got the king of spades. The ace of hearts has to be on side. I think I can just lead a heart here and now and get out for down one. Yeah, so leading the spade there was pretty terrible. I can also uh, just lead a diamond and give up a diamond. And if they play another diamond, I trumpet and the diamond set up. There's lots of different options there that were way, way better than the spade. So definitely misplayed there at the end, but pretty cool weekly free instant tournament. A couple of beer cards as well for good measure and getting to play at low levels there. Um, but uh, thanks all for watching. Hope you uh, had an uh, enjoyable weekly free instant tournament and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.